Back, a camp is underway right now teaching children with disabilities how to swim. It almost didn't happen. Johan Marin reports on the need for volunteers. On this summer day, we found Herman Shields III and his father at Burke High School. <laughs> a place where Shields can watch his son get a dive at swim lessons. He got up this morning, he knew we were going to have some swim lessons today, and he loves the water, and uh, I love the water too. It's also where Herman finds support and a true sense of belonging. Shields says it's hard to find this kind of support, let alone people to teach those with disabilities how to swim. Anytime there's uh, willing participants uh, to give a, a willing hand, uh, it really does mean a lot uh, to us and the families. Leo Bold says that's their goal. She's one of the organizers of the I Can Swim camp, but lately they are struggling to find volunteers. And as of a week ago, we had like two volunteers for each session. Normally, they have about eight volunteers to watch six kids. With having a volunteer, they get a one-on-one -on -one support, as well as our two uh, certified adaptive instructors that, that teach the classes. During swim classes, Bolt wants parents to sit back and support their kids from afar. We don't want the parents to be the volunteers. Um, anybody who's ever, you know, tried to teach their child to swim themselves knows that that can kind of be a hard thing. Shields agrees, and he's hopeful more people can pitch in. I think uh, more is always better. On your side in Omaha, Johan Marin, 6 News. I Can Swim Camp is urging the community to help out, and if you're interested in becoming a volunteer, you can find more information on our website at WOWT.com. The three men.